as you're calling in, want to show viewers some of the criticism of 3D printed guns. This from the floor of the Senate. Uh, last week, Senator Richard Blumenthal of uh, Connecticut talking about uh, his concerns about this technology. We have joined together in this cause to prevent a new wave of lethal gun violence in our streets and communities resulting from these plastic, undetectable, and untraceable weapons. We're talking about assault rifles, pistols, shotguns, all of them homemade. They are ghost guns. They are the new frontier and new face of gun violence in this country. Stephen Gutowski, take on a, a few of those concerns that he has specifically undetectable, untraceable ghost guns. Right. Uh, so there's a lot to unpack there, obviously. Um, but uh, first off, uh, undetectable uh, is a word that's being thrown around a lot um, in coverage of 3D guns, of course. And what this really refers to is a gun that could uh, pass through a metal detector without setting it off, right, or an, or an x-ray machine at, uh, say, an airport. And, uh, and it's obvious concern, right? People um, are concerned that if you make a gun completely out of plastic, how is that going to be something that, uh, it, that, that we can keep from getting onto an airplane or, or something of that nature? Um, <clears throat> now, uh, as I alluded to earlier, there's, at this point, there's no design that exists that doesn't include metal parts, so presumably, um, a metal detector would, would be able to find a gun like this. Um, uh, even the Liberator, uh, as it's called, the design from Cody Wilson, um, is likely not undetectable. We actually have a law already that governs this. You, you're not allowed to make or possess a gun uh, in the United States that's undetectable. It's, called, it's aptly called the Undetectable Firearms Act of 1988. And um, This is the, the law that the NRA cited last week when yes. this controversy bubbled up. Right, uh, and it's a law that the NRA supports um, uh, from their own statement, that's what they said. And so uh, even if you were able to make, uh, in theory, a, a completely plastic gun with no metal parts that could pass through a metal detector, um, that would be illegal uh, under federal law. It would be a felony. Um, and so that, then you get into uh, uh, the idea of uh, ghost guns, right? This is another common term that we hear a lot about. Um, and really what that refers to is uh, firearms that are uh, homemade or manufactured at home are required to uh, have serial numbers. Um, it's legal for someone in the United States to manufacture their own firearms for their own personal use. They can't sell them to others or give them away uh, without obtaining a license first, uh, you know, a manufacturer's license. Uh, but you can make your own firearms, uh, and that's something that has been legal since the founding of the country. Um, and uh, it's something that there's long been various different technologies for doing this, and basically 3D printing is just sort of a new way of, uh, of uh, accomplishing that. Let's take a few calls from viewers. Joe is in Auburn, Alabama on that line. Who, for